Inc. is called to order. Any member who is acting as the duly authorized representative for the president of your local organization should have presented a letter of appointment to the secretary with a copy to the presiding officer prior to the adoption of the conference agenda. If you have not done so, please email your letter to the secretary at this time. Good morning. I am LaKenya Walter, co-president of the Maryland Federation of Business and Professional Women. Welcome to the 90th annual conference and our first ever virtual conference. We look forward to your participation in today's exciting events, including the streamlined business session, speakers, election of officers, and other activities planned for you. The chair recognizes Rebecca Wise, a member of Laurel BPW, for this morning's inspirational message. Okay, so let's see. Let me bring Rebecca over. Sorry. It'll take Sorry. a little bit to get me. Ooh, Rebecca. Can, uh, can Rebecca raise her hand? Because I'm not seeing Rebecca in the audience. Um, yeah, I I'm I'm not seeing Rebecca in the audience. Uh, it, okay. I wonder. I wonder if she's one of the people on the phone. Let, let me just double check. We have two people on the phone. Um, are, are any of the people on the phone, Rebecca? I'm, I'm unmuting both of you. Okay. Um, let me check my email, just make sure Rebecca hasn't emailed me. Okay. All right. Um, well, LaKenya, I know it's not in sequence, but maybe we could revisit the inspirational message later in the program. Okay. That's completely right. fine. Okay. But I'll kick off with just a, a really short inspirational message. And um, it's just push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Your limitation is only your imagination. So it is the chair's great pleasure to introduce the BPW Maryland officers participating today. Serving as your co-president, we have Linda Feely. Okay, um, hold on, let me... Okay, here, here what would be great is if all the... Um, all the the folks could raise their um, could just raise their hand, and I can bring bring them over. Okay, great. Okay, got her. Okay, remote to panelists. All right, we got Linda. She's coming on. Good morning, Linda. Our first vice president is Susan Hirsch who is, excuse me, also serving as secretary of Montgomery County BPW. Okay, Susan. Okay, got Susan. Our second vice president is Marlene Spillman, who is also serving as treasurer of Hagerstown BPW. Okay, got Marlene. Our secretary is Nancy Werner, who is also serving as L3P chair, formerly IDP, and is a member of Hagerstown BPW. Okay, got her. Our treasurer is Sharon Jacob, who is also serving as treasurer of Southern Prince George's BPW. Got her. Serving today as our parliamentarian is past state president, Karen E. Villas, who is a member of Towson Hunt Valley BPW and is also serving as co-chair of the bylaws committee. Did you get Nancy? And Nancy, yeah. 
At this time, the chair recognizes annual conference chair, Susan Hurst, to welcome you and bring you additional information about the conference. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. It's a pleasure to see everyone. I would love to see everyone's face out here because I think that's how we visit better. Uh, we thank you for joining us today and for everything you've gone through during COVID and adjusting to this new virtual reality. And we're delighted that we are at a home base today and not at a hotel. And I guess for some of us, it was really nice not to travel and not to have to pack a bag and not have to decorate a meeting room. So it's very, very nice to have all of you here and especially um, some past state presidents like Diane, we haven't seen in a while and we've got some new members joining us. So I'm really happy that you're all here today. We're following the agenda you received. Uh, you should have also received in the mail some suffrage mementos to the Gazette. And uh, we had a, a fan and we have, uh, uh, what else do we have in there? We have stamps and stickers and um, little things to commemorate this celebration this year. Uh, we also have uh, two wonderful speakers, uh, Ashley Olson, who's going to be talking to us from the League of Women Voters, and Janice Mathis, who's going to talk to us about gender and race in voting. And it's going to be a wonderful day ending with a, a celebration of suffrage that we're celebrating this year. Um, there's great information in the newscaster. If you haven't read it yet, I would encourage you to read it front to, to, front to back. It's really a great publication. Uh, thanks to Pat Farmer and Jeanette Feldner. And if there's any other questions, you can certainly go to the chat room and ask them. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Susan. It is your president's pleasure to introduce those past state presidents who have joined us for the 90th annual conference. We are fortunate to have five past state presidents with us as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. We will begin with Susan Hurst, who served in 2013 to 2015 and served as well as your 65th president in 2008 to 2009. Susan serves as the BPW Maryland first vice president, resident agent, and is secretary of Montgomery County BPW. Debbie Paffel served as the 62nd BPW Maryland president in 2005 to 2006 and is a member of Laurel BPW. Karen Williams served as the 63rd BPW Maryland president in 2006 to 2007 and is a member of Southern Prince George's BPW. Karen Evillius served as your 58th president in 2001 to 2002. Karen is a member of Towson Hunt Valley BPW and currently serves as BPW Maryland's parliamentarian and bylaws co-chair. Also with us is Diane Palangan, who served as our 55th president in 1998 to 1999. Diane is also the second Maryland member to have served as a national BPW president. She is a member of Laurel BPW. Please join me in welcoming our past state presidents and recognizing their contributions throughout the history of this organization. The chair is pleased to recognize the standing and special committee chairs and special appointments present with us today. They will be introduced individually as they give their reports. It is also the chair's pleasure to recognize the local organization presidents or their representatives present today. They will be introduced individually as they give their reports. We thank all of you for your service. At this time, we would like to welcome those BPW members or guests who are attending their first state BPW meeting. We are happy to have with us the following BPW members who are attending for the first time. Patricia McClay is a Montgomery County BPW member. Also joining us from Montgomery County is Dr. Moni, Mona Sheen. Diane Williams, a member of Southern Prince George's BPW, excuse me, BPW has also joined us today. Also, we would like to welcome several guests today. Holly Joseph, a now member and friend of BPW has joined us today. Jenny Schmidt, Mary Weaver's daughter, is participating today. Many of us know Jenny and we are happy she is with us. 
Also with us is Paul Geller, a friend of BPW and especially our recently passed member, Bernice Grosser. We're looking forward to Ashley Olson and Janice Matthews, our presenters, joining us later this morning. If we have missed anyone and this is your first time attending BPW state meeting, please send us a chat message with your name and local organization so that we can recognize you. Again, we are happy you are, were able to join us today. Welcome. At this time, the chair recognizes Karen Evillias, the Federation's parliamentarian for the Rules of Order. Madam President, the Rules of Order for meetings are approved as Section 17 of the BPW Maryland Policies and Procedures. Copies of the rules are included in the registration brackets. As a reminder, this is the annual conference and all registered members in good standing may vote. Keep in mind that a majority of the voting members registered must be present in the room in order for a quorum to be established, provided three are members of the EC and at least half of the local organizations are represented. Debate and questions must be directed to the motion and not motives, principles and not personalities. Members wishing to speak are reminded to use the raise your hand feature or type your request question by clicking the question and answer icon. Please announce your name and local organization if speaking or include it in the question and answer text box. Thank you, Karen. If you do not have a copy of the rules, please request a copy via a chat message, including your email address and Karen will email you a copy. At this time, the chair recognizes Pat Farmer for our memorial service in observance of our sisters who passed away this year. Pat, you're on mute. Pat, you need to unmute yourself. Pat, can you click on the unmute button at the lower left corner? Does that work? It does not work. Steve, are you able to unmute Pat? Steve, you're on mute also. Uh, Pat, uh, on the lower left-hand corner, do you see the button that says unmute? Or that says mute and unmute?
and it's there should be I'm I'm clicking a button that says ask you to unmute so you should be prompted yeah we can't hear you so let's see what we can do is uh, do you have a cell phone handy Pat um, because we can have you call in um, and let's see, I'm going to give you the number to call in on and oh, where is this here? Right. Okay, uh, oh, come on. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying to find Pat's invite. Um, okay. Pat. Okay. All right. So Pat, if you try dialing um, 301-715-8592. Okay. And then I'm going to read you the code. Um, give me the thumbs up when you're ready for the code. Okay, it's eight eight three one uh, shoot. A a Okay, it, it's eight three one nine three four six two seven three two pound. Um, 